Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we continue our playlist called Science in Medicine. We'll compare between obstetrician's hand and gynecologist's hand. With that said, now let's get started. Please watch these videos in the playlist in order, especially the Trousseau sign. We have two Trousseau signs. The first one is known as Trousseau sign of titany. The next one is called Trousseau syndrome or Trousseau sign of visceral malignancy. What is tetany? Tetany happens when you have low calcium, because calcium is contra-excitability. If calcium is high, excitability is low. But in tetany, calcium is low, therefore excitability is high. Tetany has a positive chivistic sign, which we have talked about before. The reason behind this is hyper-excitability. And Rousseau sign. Calcium is low, excitability is high. I get carpal spasms and pedal spasms. To Rousseau sign, can you describe the findings? Yes, I have flexion at the wrist. Correct. Flexion at the MCP. Excellent. PIP extension and DIP extension. How about the thumb? A deduction. If you take that same hand and flip it upside down, you still have flexion at the wrist, flexion at the MCP, extension at the all of the interphalangeal joint and thumb A deduction. This looks exactly like the obstetrician's hand receiving the baby and pulling the baby out from mommy's womb. You can call it obstetrician's hand, but obstetrician is a new thing. In the good old days, which were not so good, we had midwife's hand or Le main de coucheur, my French is terrible, I'm sorry. Or trousseau sign. So trousseau sign is the same thing as le main de coucheur, midwife's hand, or obstetrician's hand. Now let's turn our attention to gynecologist's hand. Here is a gynecologist examining the vaginal canal. Now what if a patient came to you and when you asked the patient to flex all of the fingers, he looked like this. Now this is a median nerve problem. Let me explain. In order for you to flex the wrist and the fingers, you need two nerves. The median nerve laterally and the ulnar nerve medially. This patient was able to flex the last two fingers, but was not able to flex the lateral three fingers. This is a median nerve problem. You can call it the gynecologist's hand, median nerve palsy, pope blessing like a pope blessing his people, the papal sign, and benediction sign. These three mean the same thing. You can also call it gynecologist hand and the cause is a median nerve problem. And this is a question to ask your professor. Hey professor, what's the difference between the obstetrician's hand and the gynecologist's hand? If your professor was able to answer it, I will retire from YouTube and work as a whopper flopper. Right now I have a 50% discount towards anything on my website. Use the promo code HALF, available for 17 students only, at medicosisperfectionalis.com. My favorite course on my website is the antibiotics course, in which we discuss antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic drugs. Happy 2021, everybody. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my cardiac pharmacology course, my antibiotics course, my CNS pharmacology course, and others. Use the promo code HALF to get 50% discount. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.